Hey, what's going on guys? So I've just been finishing up some of the editing for all the lost footage that I managed to recover. And as you can tell from the title, it's gonna be another Armor Typhon Mega brushless video. Now my first couple of videos have been just out the front of my house and I'm sure you guys are getting bored. Uh, I'm definitely getting bored just driving out the front. So I decided that's it. I gotta take it to a decent spot and give it a test. Now just a reminder, I did actually break the input gear in the last video. Um, and I forgot to document it, but if any of you want to see how to fix it, there is videos already on YouTube, but if you want another video of how to actually modify the original input gear, just leave us a comment and um, yeah, I'll, I'll make a video. So um, check it out guys, it's pretty crazy. There's a big walkway all the way around, so I want to go and try and find another good spot for the bigger cars. God, they are really smooth over the bumps. Oh. <laughs> Hello. They're really smooth. Do you see the jumper, right? This might be a bit of fun for it. <laughs> God, I had a funny feeling that was going to happen. All right, time to find a better spot and then try that again. Nice. Why can't I do this? All right. So I've got another battery in it, another 4 cell. Those um, UME power Lytos that I said I, I really like.
awesome transfer. That looks cool. What is that? I'm getting a lot of stuff stuck in this one. <laughs> that didn't work. That's what they should have called this thing. They should have called it the Armour Tough. Because for what's supposed to be a brushed car, it can take a brushless system pretty, pretty well. Um, that was such good fun. Nothing broke. Uh, suspension still looks perfect. I'm really enjoying these tyres. They they feel a bit hard when you're playing with them on the bench but they're really, really grippy in grass and dirt and gravel, you know, they're, they're good. The shafts are fine still, you know, they've got marks obviously and dirt obviously, but nothing to be worried about at all. The front bumper's really taking a beating, but that's what they're made for. I want to actually get the EXB or something that's similar to an EXB front bumper for this car. Um, I might even have to make my own, so yeah, you might see another mod for this car. Actually, I've got a few mod, mods for this car coming up, so um, yeah, stay tuned. Some of you may recall, if you've watched my previous video, um, I did break the original input gear and I had to modify it. So that was what this test was to see how long it would last. And I mean, it's lasted this, this run. It was two or three batteries. So yeah. I can't wait to take it out again and see if I can break it. <laughs> I don't want to break it because it's a good car, but it's kind of what this is. It's a torture test, a parts test, and um, and a fun test because, yeah, it's great fun. Great fun. I can't wait to take it out again. And on that note, cheers, guys. Catch us in the next video. And as always, stay safe. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below.